Okay, guys, I don't know why this thing keeps cutting off, but this will now be part three of this video. <laughs> this right here is, uh, we've gone all the way from the one dimension, as I said, that's continued to be created more and more, to a border of the game. Like I said, there's really no such thing as time or space, so this is an illusion. But for all practical purposes, I want you all to think of it, that everything within this is a part of this game. All of it is within this game. Every question that you have regarding your life, why you came here, um, how to live this life, how to get out of this life, is all within the game. The second that you pass that border, <laughs> and I remember when this happened. I, to this day, I can remember as I was like, zooming around and I, I remember I was turning around I was looking at the planet earth and I could see all of it all of it from this when it was created to the end of the creation all of the optional timelines that's a whole nother story which I have videos on very difficult to explain for people who don't understand time and space um, that I could see all everything I could have and I saw it instantly and I got excited about that, and I would like zoom in, and I would see the whole life ex experience from the perspective of a molecule in your fingertip. And I understood that, now I understood time travel. I understood going back in time and forward in time, and I understood all of that for, in that moment. And I remember sitting on this, like, think of it, a ledge, and I'd been looking down, like, to earth and everything within the game and seeing how big it was and collapsing and experiencing it from all different directions all different timelines but I was looking think of it like I was looking down and I realized in an instant I realized that I was outside of linear time space and I remember going oh yeah I remember and in that moment I remembered this whole game of linear time space and how it was created, and why it was created, and how it was used, and how it could be played with. How, how all of that, and why it was all done to begin with. And then I turned around that way. And in that moment, I went into what I call now time. Where there is no such thing as time and space. And I remember instantly that in this instant, I was like, yeah, linear time space, cool, that's how it exists, that's how it's created, that's how it was... And I was totally understood, comprehended, linear time space. But if you ask me, what does now time mean? I would have gone, what? Even from this standpoint, I would have gone, now what is that? I don't I know, but what is it? And I remember turning and being in now time and going, oh yeah, now time was instantly completely familiar. Completely familiar. And I just rolled my eyes and I remember thinking, oh yeah, I forgot. It was like, oh yeah, I was in the middle of a game. Completely forgot I was in the middle of a game. And then when I was in now time, I turned back and looked the other direction. And I remember thinking, linear time space. Well, I know how it was made and why and everything, but I couldn't for the life of me comprehend it. So it was almost like in linear time space, you can't comprehend now time. And when you're in now time, you can't comprehend linear time space. They are so diabolically opposite of one another. So I totally get that when you're talking to any being that's over here, which is frequently uh, many higher selves are hanging out over here, um, source, if you're talking directly to source, it's there. Hicks. Uh, huh? My, uh, Abraham. Well, Abraham's group is actually here. Mm. They're right no, they're actually right but the top end of 40. Uh, they're within the low. game. Yeah, they're way lower than I thought. Uh, very few entities actually, if you actually connect with who you really are, it's going to be outside of here. And uh, I've talked to very, very, very few people who have actually done this. Um, very, very few people. Once you step over into this now time thing, um, you, and you know everything, and I know that sounds like really uh, egotistical, but it really isn't. Everybody can do it. The only reason you can't is because that's the whole point of the game, is to forget that you can't. 
But when you step outside of this game and back into uh, the perspective of remembering who you are, you know everything about everything. Always have. You, you always did. You've just forgotten because that was the game. The whole point here is that Gaia came to be the planet where people could try to do this. This 3D game. That's what her agreement was. But she has, uh, she only agreed to do it, think of it, she only agreed to like spend uh, 500, half a trillion years here. Okay? And just throwing that number there. And she kind of put it off, put it off because it never could reach 3D. So the creator kept going, no, just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. Let me try this, let me try this. Not just the creator, a whole bunch of creator gods that were trying to get this done have that experience. And she kept going, oh, okay, just a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. And finally, 3D was hit, and she was like, turned around going, okay, I'm out of here. I'm, I've done what I agreed to do. I went out. And pretty much everybody was on there said, no, 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 we're going to make you stay. That's part of 3D. We can, we can force you to do stuff. That's that amnesia that you forget that everybody's gods and you can't force anybody to do anything. So, we're, uh, humans were deeply in third dimension as well are, were other aliens that came here to reside. So, reptilians, draconians, anybody that was hanging out here, they were absolutely convinced that they had control of the planet and they could make her stay in the third dimension and go lower, which you cannot do. You cannot make any person, place, or thing do anything that they don't want to do. Um, period. If an animal, if a deer got shot, it's because the deer agreed to be shot. If you are dead, you agreed to be dead. And anything else that is true of, too. You cannot make energy, any energy doing, do anything they don't want to do. That is an illusion that's a part of the game. It's part of that dark, light, good guy, bad guy thing. Okay. But it is just that, just a part of the game. So, guy came back and said, okay, no, I really mean it. I really am leaving. And they said, no, you can't, you can't, you can't. And guy said, okay, I mean it. Hint, hint, hint. Um, yeah, big warning bells. Stubbornly saying, no, we're not going to let you go. And basically, this is when uh, the bombs dropped on Naga, Nagasaki and Hiroshima. That was when Gaia sent out the notorious call for help. Did she help? No. Did she need help? No. Did she, could she do it by herself? Yes. But I tell people, you can build a house on your own. I guarantee you, you can do it. But it's a whole lot easier if you bring in a hundred people to help you. That's kind of the idea here. So at that point, the call was made and the first wave of assistance came. After that, there's a whole lot of videos after worth. Okay. So, I think that is enough. Anything else you think I need to tell anybody to catch them up? Uh, I think that's a good refresher. Okay. There's my refresher course. Guys, um, I absolutely do sessions. The information is in the description below. Uh, Stephanie handles those schedules. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions that y'all have. Uh, I'm not really big on talking to dead people, so... Uh, uh, really, especially since you guys know, usually somebody will say, well, is my mother around me? And you already know the answer to that. Of course they are. But I don't really like talking to dead people. That's a whole different thing. Uh, ghosts are usually humans that don't want to leave yet. So they're kind of cranky. Um, for whatever reason, there's a lot of reasons I prefer not to talk to them. I will if you really find it absolutely necessary to your well-being. Um, I am not into being tested. I say what I say. I've done what I've done. You either believe me, and I'll absolutely answer any questions you've got, or you don't, at which point there's plenty of other places to go to uh, on the Internet or in YouTube. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not a circus act here. Uh, I tried that for three or four years, and all it did was scare people really, really badly, and uh, I have no desire to do that anymore. So, uh, 600 videos later, I don't think I've ever contradicted myself. If you are watching the video and you think there is a contradiction, understand that, just find out what perspective the question is asked from. Let's say, 
on the biggest level, nobody could, has to do anything they don't want to do. But you may be playing the role of a good guy, at which point, on one level, you may understand completely that that serial killer wanted to have that experience, as do all of the serial killer's uh, victims. But on a good guy, bad guy level, you may be a police officer. And from the perspective of you being a good guy, you will want to go stop the serial killer. Okay? These, these do not mean that those are disagree. It simply is a difference of perspective. If I ask an ant to describe the world around it as it knows, that description would be very different from a hawk's. Does that mean that one is right and one is wrong? No, it's a matter of perspective. So the best thing I could tell you, my thing is, if you want to get up and out of here, the only way to do it, the easiest way to do it, is to be very aware of how you're feeling moment to moment, because there's no such thing as past or future, and to try to be a little bit happier than you were the moment before. Absolutely. And, um... Yeah, what else was I going to say? I was just getting ready to say something. <laughs> I do that a lot. Anyway, back to if you would that like would to talk to me. Aquarius perspective. Yes, yes, that would be the perspective of me. Uh, yeah, if you want to set up an appointment, feel free to do so. Email me and Stephanie will set it up. Give you all the inf information regarding that. And uh, like I said, I can answer just, yeah, I can answer about any question you've got. Uh, that's a double-edged sword. It's not always a good thing knowing all the answers to everything. I am very good at knowing how all of this works. I know how all of it runs. I know where we came from. I have got all of those answers. But I am also absolutely uh, never have been here before. So I suck at this game hard. I mean, really, really hard. I don't normally do physicality. Certainly don't do this low vibration. So, although I understand how the game works, it's like uh, just, I'm, I'm like a five-year-old sitting in my parents' lap trying to learn how to drive a tractor. It just, I know all of it, but I can't do it well. And, which probably is the reason why when I died, I remembered all of it and came back with it so easily. is because I have not done this before. Uh, being in amnesia and not knowing who I am is very, very much a uh, planned um, practiced thing to do, and I have no practice in it whatsoever. And I really, really, really suck at this game. I don't like it. It's not my gig. I want to go home. But we came to help Gaia build that house. And she is moving, and she is moving fast. You will, I guarantee you, every single star seed, you will do what you, you are doing. You have been doing what you came here to do by simply being here. You just have to do that vibrational work via standing on the planet in a humanoid form. But it's nothing physical that you think of. You didn't come here to, like, um, cure cancer. Uh, cancer. You didn't come here to build a Some giant bridge. Uh, you didn't come here to clean all the plastic off the planet. You didn't do, you didn't come for that. This is all vibrational work, and you're doing it. You always have. The rest of it is just a survival game. Some of us, you know, usually if you want to see people do it successfully, they're usually people who have been humans millions of lifetimes, not five or ten. <laughs> We're talking millions of lifetimes. And a long, long-term player of the game will have been here for what you would consider quadrillion of lifetimes. They've been spiders and molecules singular and, 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 everything you can imagine. Uh, air, air, air elemental, uh, played the role of the sun. Um, uh, lots of that going on, but that's a whole, that's a whole bunch of different timelines on that one. Okay. All right, guys, I really can't think of anything else that I can tell you. If you have questions, put the questions below or set up a session. Welcome, everybody, all you new folks. I hope this was helpful, and I hope it saved you some time. What I would suggest when it comes to my videos, if it really um, resonates with you and it feels accurate, usually what happens is you'll hear me say something, 
then your mind will go, yeah, that feels right. I know that's right. I don't have to convince you. You need to listen to yourself. You will know the truth when you hear it. You will know the truth when you feel it. Follow what you feel, not what I or anybody else says. Your path will be very different, unique to you. We do not copy each other. That would be redundant and stupid. We do not do redundant and stupid. We all are part of one. Uh, so our experiences are very, very different. No matter what we're doing, they're very different. Okay? All right, guys, that's it for me. I love you guys so much. I'll give you uh, huge hugs all the way around, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Uh -huh.